my left hand, I have a, a feather. In my right hand, a hammer. And I guess one of the reasons uh, we got here today was because of a gentleman named Galileo a long time ago who made a rather significant discovery about falling objects in gravity fields. And we thought that uh, where would be a better place to confirm his uh, findings than on the moon. And uh, so we thought we'd try it here for you. Uh, the feather happens to be appropriately a falcon feather for our falcon. And I'll uh, drop the two of them here and hopefully they'll hit the ground at the same time. How about that? When the building went down, my first reaction was, well, let's simply replicate what was there. My first reaction is to think about over 5,000 people <clears throat> who were still missing. Uh, the families uh, of those people, the tragedy, the magnitude of it. Um, However, I firmly believe that we should rebuild. I said, you know, we've had such terrible loss of life. Maybe the smartest thing to do is, is pull it. Uh, and they made that decision to pull, and then we watched the building collapse. Al-Qaeda took credit for it. The uh, uh, Bin Laden sits in Afghanistan. There is a source well, of terror. Who else terror. can you identify, though? Uh, because we're not saying he's responsible for this necessarily. No, no, we, we don't say that he's responsible. Iran, Iraq, Libya, North Korea, these kind of states should be treated as rogue states. White phosphorus in the heart of Gaza's neighborhoods. We saw a bright flash of light in the evening and then saw all these sparks fall near us. The sparks were landing all around us and in our homes. Our mattresses caught on fire. On the ground in Jabalia, home to more than 100,000 Palestinians, children unaware of the deadly toxin dropped on them, naively playing with the munitions. As adults look on describing, the poisonous effects it has had on them. It's the first time we see this type of weapon. It must be new and it seems like phosphorus. It's suffocating and has a deadly poisonous smell that I'm sure will cause a lot of sickness and disease on all the civilians here. Now, those who've witnessed the attacks are calling on Israel to halt the use of white phosphorus. These people must be brought to justice because they are just killing children and they are just killing women. Who just, they are innocent, they have done nothing. This is a sort of humiliation of all the international humanitarian law and it's a sort of humiliation of the Geneva Conventions. I mean, and there is no way unless these people should stop this crime immediately in Gaza and they must be brought to justice. I've stood on the border of Gaza watching Jabalia as it's been hammered by white phosphorus over the past few days. It's very clear as you walk by the uh, Israeli 155-millimeter artillery batteries, they're handling American-manufactured white phosphorus rounds. They're fused. You don't fuse it unless you're going to use it. And I'm watching as the white phosphorus explodes in air in an airburst situation and comes down and covers the area of the refugee camp. That's pretty humorous, Dave. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. You will never see it coming. A foundation on which to build. The whole building was built like that. That was the bottom part. Through. And you see the lights coming through. This is 
heated in the winter, so your hands... Not like this. 